Hello, I'm Matt Landis uh, with Landis Computer. We're a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner, also a Dynamics GP Partner. Uh, we have been in the market looking for a for PSA software uh, to do our service management. Uh, we took a, a quick look at Autotask. We also, of course, looked at ConnectWise. Uh, and in each case, we were looking for a product that would integrate very tightly with our accounting system. Uh, we're a Dynamics GP partner also, and uh, we wanted something that would tightly integrate. And finally, we decided to use the Dynamics GP field service module. Now, the only problem we had with that was uh, we weren't satisfied with the efficiency of the technician module, so we went about and made our own. We're going to take a look at that a little bit right now, what we uh, wrapped around Dynamics GP. So we'll jump right in and take a look at some screenshots. All right, the Dynamics GP uh, time tracker, we call it, uh, pumps time into field service management in GP using the free GP web services. You don't pay anything extra. Um, it will pump uh, time into GP. So you'll start out, you'll add a uh, service call in Dynamics GP, just the very standard, typical way. Uh, save it, and then on the technician, each technician will have the, the the GP field service time tracker. And when a new task shows up, they will get an email that lets them know that they got a new uh, a new task, and then they can go into their time tracker and click on the task. And we'll notice on the right here, now it's not a very good one because it does, okay, that's a pretty good one. Uh, on the right here, we'll see what the issue is. And if there's a longer note with the, with the service request, it'll show down here, but you know, who they need to call, who the person is. And really, it's two clicks. You click on the, t the, the, the task and then just click on go. I'm just gonna do this on a, one of our other, our generic tasks. But you just click start. And you'll notice on here it's uh, all right now the time is tracking so you can go up here and you can type what you're doing if you need longer notes you can do that down here and uh, when you're done you just click stop and that will enter a time record in Di Dynamics GP field service and I'll just stop that one and we can take a look at that. All right, and that used web services and pumped a time record back into Dynamics GP field service. So we're going to go into here, and that was task number 50,008. So we're going to go clear 50. And I've got an extra zero in there, I believe. Okay, there it is. And we can go down here into labor. And we will notice that it did add a time record down here working on the demo and if we want to see the note we just click on the note and you will see it there a note that we made so really we're using dynamic GP field services and pumping time into the field services module so we'll just close that get out of there okay back into the time tracker so really um, you need one dynamics GP for your service manager or, or more if you need more and then really the time tracker module is all you need for the technicians. Um, and, uh, a couple other things we've added around this um, using uh, SQL reporting services. We have a the ability for the technician to check how much time they got in that day. Uh, the big needle is billable time. The small one is uh, non-billable time. Uh, we have it integrated with our, our IP PBX being uh, Windows Phone guys. You can click dial and it'll dial this customer. And utilization, if you click on that, you can see the detailed utilization for the day. Uh, when the task is done, you can click complete, and that takes it out of your list and sends it up to the service manager to take care of. Um, another thing over here, you can see a uh, uh, Microsoft Live Map directions, or we have it integrated into our, let's just go on a customer here, click on this guy. Good links, open customer folder, and we have a document management system here. Really simply, Windows folder is opened with their information in there. Uh, right, basically, you click on here, and now I can 
jump right into the customer folder. Um, we have a couple reports. You can see the service call ticket history. Uh, let's take a look at it on this one. This is using uh, SQL reporting services. And here we will notice you know, everything that happened on this task. Uh, the big notes, the internal notes, the notes that will go in the invoice. Get that out of our way. Um, you can also see uh, the service ticket. You can print the technician can print out service ticket to take along the road. So you can service call history, or he can see all the history for this customer. So he can look back and say, hey, what did we do before? Um, but really, the claim to fame here is very easy time tracking, two clicks, the two click time tracking way. Click on this and hit go. Uh, very, very efficient uh, work. Fits really nice into the uh, workflow of a technician. There's not a lot of, there's not a high cost per technician. And uh, it is very straightforward. Um, another thing that we did in this add-on, and I'm just going to pull in the service request screen, or the service call entry screen from Dynamics GP Field Service. We added a button down here that lets will what it will do when you create a service request and then click Outlook, it will add an Outlook appointment for the technician and also send them an email. All right, just a quick overview of the. Uh, Just a quick overview of the Dynamics GP Field Service uh, time tracker module that we have made. Um, at this point, it's not a box product, but we will provide it to other resellers um, at this point. And uh, if there's end users, we will work with them. We don't have it as a box product. We just send to you. There are services around getting it up, but really, it can be an affordable solution. Uh, just to recap, really, all you need is a is a uh, one license of Dynamics GP. Um, the Dynamics GP web services are at no cost, and uh, this module. Um, so, Dynamics GP as a PSA.